Chances are, if you're watching this video, you feel a degree of emptiness inside. That life is boring and unexciting. It's a painful feeling, right? Having this vacuum of emptiness lingering around you. Possibly, you're asking questions like, does life still make sense? Or you might be wondering if life is always going to feel this way. In this animated video, we'll touch upon some actionable pieces of advice that can help you. Advice that you can apply directly to your life. And if indeed you get to act on them, it's likely you will be able to resolve that empty feeling you have within. But first, it might be helpful to pinpoint what causes this feeling of boredom and emptiness. While it's difficult to precisely say that the following reason will be the one for everyone, there is a high chance this feeling comes from the misinterpretation of beliefs. Beliefs that are created by the environment we're in, the people who surround us, and our own way of thinking. Misunderstanding stops us from seeing further, causing emptiness and making life seem uninteresting, limited, and consequentially boring. Let us first clarify this by giving examples of how the environment we're in, the people who surround us, and our own thinking create limited beliefs, and how those beliefs in turn create boredom and emptiness in your life. First, let's see how the environment we're in can cause limited beliefs. School, for example, can limit your beliefs about what is possible for you to become in the world. Maybe the range of professions shown to you doesn't spark any of your interests. Because of these limited choices, you are led to believe that it's all there is to be in the world. As a result, you could come to see life as being quite boring. Emptiness may result because you feel rather alone, as you don't feel you can be what you want to be in life. Pause this video for a second and ask yourself. Is the place I am in right now limiting my beliefs on what is possible? Or do I feel that it is showing me possibilities? Secondly, let's look at how the people who surround us can create limited beliefs. This quote from Jin Brown holds much truth. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. The people you spend the most time with will either enrich and expand or limit and make your view about the world and yourself poorer. Maybe your current friends or colleagues at work only engage in small talk and gossip and never talk about things in depth. You can't find the deep conversations you are looking for where true connection between human beings are established. Or you feel bored because no one talks about really interesting topics that can expand your thinking and knowledge about the world and yourself. If you don't feel stimulated by the people around you, boredom and emptiness certainly can result as you aren't enriching your own mind in any way. You aren't growing. Again, pause this video and think for a few seconds. Are the people I spend the most time with limiting my beliefs or expanding them? And lastly, our own way of thinking can easily create limited beliefs about ourselves and the world around us. Many people walk through life practically with their eyes closed, unaware about the details, beauties, mysteries, and most fascinating facts that fill this world. Literally unaware of the beauty and wonder of anything. Also, how much do you truly know about yourself? How your emotions work, your mind, your brain, your body? If you are truly honest with yourself, you may come to see that in the end, you've only but touched the very surface of it all. So of course you will have limited beliefs. Of course you may feel a degree of boredom and emptiness inside you because you have never looked at the depth, the complexity and the pure wonder in everything. One more time, pause this video and ask yourself, am I walking through life with my eyes closed? Or do I look farther ahead? Do I see deeper into everything? 
Now, before you immediately throw away this idea that boredom and emptiness in life is caused by limited beliefs, do give it a moment and think about it while you watch further. As we touch upon the practical pieces of actionable advice now, you might come to realize that it indeed is the misinterpretation of beliefs that causes this emptiness and boredom in your life. Let us start with the first piece of actionable advice. Do not underestimate the life-changing potential that books have, especially if you have never reached out for one before. Sure, maybe you do not like to read, that's okay. Audiobooks are a beautiful alternative solution. Understand that just a few of the right books can have a significant impact on your life. The kind of impact you cannot even imagine. Why and how? Because books contain a power that has brought down whole nations, caused wars and destruction. But the same force has also mended wounds, brought peace, revolutionized ideas and changed the entire world and the lives of many for the better. Yes, that's right. We are talking about the very power you are hearing now. The power of words. A single word has the power to bring someone down or lift someone up, to imprison and enslave or to set free and let go. Words contain a limitless power. The words that you are surrounded by, the words either you cast towards others or others cast towards you, can determine your whole outlook on life. Words can determine how big or small the world becomes for you. It can set boundaries for how rich or poor, how boring or exciting, how empty or fulfilling life will turn out to be. There are books out there holding potential words that can entirely shift everything inside you. Books can free you from the limited knowledge of two things that imprison many people their emotions and their minds. These two fundamentals have caused great pain and emptiness for countless people and very likely for you right now. It's only when you start to learn more about yourself, your heart, your mind and your emotions and how they all work together in the most magnificent ways that you can bring some sense to the potential emptiness in you. Understanding yourself and the complexities of the human mind and emotions we are equipped with will produce a clarity about yourself and the main pain points that you may be holding onto for no other reason than the lack of information. There is so much more to you than you can ever imagine. If you can zoom in closer to everything, closer to yourself, you can grab hold of the extraordinary powers you have awaiting you. Many times, however, we need someone or something to be that magnifying glass for us. Books can very well be that. To get you started, here are two books that have had magnificent power and impact on altering thousands of people's lives by providing a greater understanding of their minds and emotions. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz and The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. In the description, you will find more information about these books. Learning about yourself is one thing that can help when you're feeling empty and bored with life. Along with that, learning more about our planet, the one you are a part of, as much as it is a part of you, is just as healing. When you learn more about our cosmos, wildlife, the ocean and its marine life, the little insects that are all around us, plant life, etc., you'd be stunned and blown away by the complexity and marvel of it all. Your jaw will drop at the thought of how much and yet how little we know about our planet and its vast universe. Maybe right now you might dismiss the thought of watching a documentary because you think they can be fun or entertaining at all. Just give it a try though before completely dismissing them. You need to give something a fair chance before you can say if it is something for you or not. 
To get you started, check out the following two documentaries. They are marvelous and have blown away the minds of countless people by presenting some of the fascinating facts this world has to offer in ways you cannot imagine. Cosmos, a space-time odyssey and Planet Earth 2. You can also find in the description more information about these two documentaries. The reason why we started with books and documentaries first is that they are a great and easily accessible way for anyone to begin breaking out of the prison cells that have trapped them into seeing and feeling that life is a dull and empty place. With books and documentaries, you are literally a fingertip away from unlocking many of the prison cells you are stuck in, altering and presenting a whole new reality of yourself and the immersive world that is around you. A world that's waiting out there for you to explore and witness. But the final step, the last stage that can completely settle it all, is travel. Why? Because to travel is to embark on a journey. Not just into the world, but inward towards your inner self. No, we are not talking about a beach vacation or an all-inclusive hotel stay. We are talking, in fact, about moving. Venturing to a strange new land, either for a few months or any time you can spare, with a backpack as your home and preferably all by yourself. What travel, especially a solo trip, does is this. It will force you to turn inward. You'll have to take the lessons you have learned from those books and apply them to one of the best real life practice grounds, the unknown. No other place can enforce the theoretical lessons you've learned and put them into practice more than unfamiliar territory, where you do not know anyone. While venturing through those unexplored parts of this world, you'll also get to taste the vast beauty that you've previously only seen as images on your screen. While documentaries can leave an impact, nothing beats the experience of seeing it with your own eyes. But what if you have no idea where to travel to? Or what if it is too much of a stretch to venture off alone? Volunteer abroad. Yes, you can still choose from numerous countries, but because the volunteering project will take place in a specific place, there are fewer choices of places from whence you can start. That's a good thing. Having fewer options will help you make a choice and let this trip happen. Along with that, volunteering is almost always done in a group. You won't feel too much like you are a single strand hanging out there all by yourself. Taking it a bit further, the benefits of happiness that volunteering brings to a person are enormous. In the description down below, you can find an article that delves into the health benefits of volunteering. Websites such as Helpix or Workaway offer a wide variety of choices around the whole world for as little as 20 euros a year. Or have a look through the following article found in the description down below that lists some of the best volunteering organizations. While this video may be lengthy, if you've watched it all the way to here, it means you are ready for a change. If you truly give these practical pieces of advice a try, your life may take the turn you are truly looking for. Promise to give this a shot. There is no harm in trying. And in the end, it's the only true way of knowing whether this video may be the one thing that will transform your life and change that feeling of emptiness and boredom to fulfillment and excitement.